American Ober Aber Gurgel. We say there's one thing wrong with this low calorie beers that they ain't got no taste. They got cowboyers and footballers, but they all taste like mm. So then I tried Hoodie Delight, and you know what? I saw Delight. Do yourself a flavor, have a hoodie, have a hoodie delight. <clears throat> now that tastes like a real beer. You could say I'm delighted. <laughs> Hoodie Delight, the beer drinker's light. Unipole, King of Bowling, next. Welcome back to Glenmore Bowl. We turn from the ladies now to the men's side and the Unipole King of TV Bowling. And, you know, Kim Herman's in our first match uh, of the day, and, and he brought a crew with him today, Bo. He certainly did. Last year, he was the king our first four weeks of the show, and we've given him a name, the crowd that's here. They're called Herman's Herd. I think they're here. Are you here, guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're great. They're really on. They just love to root for Kim. He does a great job with them here. Herman's Herd. Remember the band Herman's Hermits. I know you do, Dave. All right, Dave, how about our first match of the day? Yeah, it might be right here. Uh, no, in our first match, we're going to see Lenny Ramsey, one of fine, fine players. We can watch him here. Exceptionally strong. Gets to the line as well as any big player out here. What a ball does he throw. Len Ramsey, a great player. Kim Herman, on the other hand, not quite as uh, bulky, let's say, but his, um, his ball is, is as strong and his accuracy is second to none. We're going to have a match, all right. Not quite as bulky. All right, stick around. Match coming up next on the beautiful King of TV Bowling. Stay with us. <laughs> King of Bowling. Brought to you by the Junipal Brewing Company, America's great small brewery. This small drop of liquid is a dedicated brewmaster's work of art. It reflects a fine select beer brewed with the care, patience, and pride only a small brewery can provide. Longer brewing time and dedication to excellence mean Christian Moorline may cost a little more, but the price is small for the unique experience of Christian Moorline. Christian Moorline, quite simply, a better beer. Every now and then, I compete in front of the whole world. Other times, I'm just out to have a good time with my family and friends. Come on, you're up. That's why I got into bowling. Yeah, bowling. It's fun. It's pretty good exercise. It's great. Best of all, you don't have to give a 10 to have a great time. All right. On the other hand, it doesn't hurt. Call your nearby BPA Bowling Center for open bowling times. Nothing but diamonds. Diamonds by the ounce. Nothing but diamonds. Diamond coolers. Wild, wild berries. Citrus with a twist, passion punch, stood up just right. Taste a diamond wine cooler, California white wine, and natural fruit flavors in your favorite flavors, your favorite sizes. Nothing but diamonds, diamond cooler. If you could have been present at any event in the history of the world, what event would you most like to have attended? The creation of the Earth. Close. Close. <laughs> he said his prom night. <laughs> oh, no. The new newlywed game, weeknights at 7. Here's your invitation to really have some fun. Try bowling! When you're sitting home in the middle of the winter, bored, you'll be sorry you didn't join a bowling league. Short-term winter leagues are now forming. You'll like it! I wanted to join, so my bowling center found me a team. Even more important, I found new friends. Come on in, pick up a ball, knock down some pins for the thrill of it all. You'll like it! Welcome back to Glenmore Bowl on this lovely Sunday morning. And Talked a little bit about 
that group over there. They heard. <laughs> We're actually looking at the sponsors now. The Herman's herd is <laughs> filling the background. I mean, they're hanging from the ceilings in here. We've got a lot of them here. They're rooting for their favorite, Kim Herman. A lot of Hudipol going down fast today. Yeah, I know. And I no, don't want to hear any more about it either. I bought that round of drinks they were talking about earlier. I'm off the hook. Mm. Stick. Wouldn't the, go down. The, <laughs> the Wiglin 7. Kim's smile. I'll tell you what, Bo, we will not have a show where a contestant smiles as much as Kim Herman, you know? That's right. You know, he is so comfortable and so loose, and he is one of the nice guys of the world. I mean, everybody loves him. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> nice guy, yeah. That's about as far as it'll go. Loves a little steep in, in that case. <laughs> Lenny's, Lenny's been a, a friend and acquaintance of mine for a while. Lenny Ramsey, a little jostling around on the opening a little bit, but Lenny is a great, great bowler. Why he hasn't actually done better in tournaments than he has is beyond me because right there, evidence of the strong, strong ball that this man can throw. His, his, probably his key to success today, Tommy, will be to keep that strength under control. You know, Lenny has won a tournament, just so you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's I, done some. He won the Team USA qualifying in the state of Ohio in 1986. And what's that say right next to it? Broke even once on a wager with New <laughs> We'll get to that. I just want to make sure the folks at home caught that. That's in parentheses that Lenny put down. Broke even on a wager with New Is he smiling? He likes it. Yeah. Yeah, well, he that he probably wrote that sheet before yesterday. Uh, I left the wash out in the qualifier, and he bet me that I wouldn't make it, and that cost him. <laughs> but right now, he's up in this match. He's even, anyway, let's put it that way. Both players uh, showing us what they can do right. Kim Herman, 10 pins down, going into the third frame, can get it back to even with a strike. Kim J. Herman, 31 years old. Right here in Cincinnati. Nice size family. Yes, they come from a nice size family. Uh, we're talking, uh, he has three children, 13, 9, and 7. And uh, he's a plumber. He, they own uh, the Herman Plumbing. Boy, what a player. Let's take a look at it on the split screen, Tommy. This reaction will tell you that he likes it. The pins are coming up and they're getting ready to go down. Keep your eyes on the head pin. Center your screen and the two pin. Completely annihilated. Ten pins in the pit. Every pin doing its job. Kim Herman is happy. Talked about the smile. But both these fellows got it going now, looks like. Len Ramsey. I told you he was strong. Ooh, who told me? <laughs> oh, told wow. me. Len is 28 years old, and he is from right here in Cheviot. A methods specialist for GE. And he is a pin specialist in knocking them down. Mm. Unbelievable, happened? Tommy. We're going to take a look at it on the replay. Let's, let's watch. From the release to the pins, take a look at it. Does he go after it? Yeah! There he is. He straps it for all it's worth. Now watch the head pin. Center your screen. Go to the right wall. Come off with a vent. Look at all those pins. That looked like... Let's equate the 10 pin to Walter Payton going through a line of people, buddy. I'll tell you. Unbelievable. Well, he picks up that spare. But Kim J. Herman. This guy's got it going. Last couple of frames, he is back-to-back -back strikes. He's going to give it a go. A terrible, terrible shot. Probably the worst shot we've seen out of Kim Herman out of all of his TV appearances. Total breakdown of concentration. Pulling the ball right up through the head pin. Leaving a split that's, oh, let's say it's about one to five. And making the two seven for these caliber of bowlers, it's probably one out of three. Just missing it by the narrowest of margins, Tom. You know, uh, Bo, Kim's already had a, uh, a game under his belt on this Sunday morning. 
Yes, and can you believe we had the all-time tie? <laughs> Glenn Moore's known for some ties. David and I could tell you about that. Oh, boy. But uh, Kim rolled it against Alan Downs this morning. They rolled 216 even, both of them. And in the ninth and 10th frame row off, Kim did emerge the winner. As you looked at our score sheet there, the score sheet told us that this man, Kim Herman, is 23 pins down. It's the best way to get back in it. You bet it's a good way to get back in it. Just come right back after a completely, I call that a Bahama shot, Tommy. The caliber of these players should never throw a ball that bad unless there's a complete mental breakdown in Kim Herman had one of those breakdowns in the fourth frame. You know, he went to the Bahamas last year on his ones, too. That's where it started, David. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right, as a matter of fact. No, wait a minute. I didn't get the tie in here now. Oh, okay. Where does Bahamas <laughs> well, tie in? It's like taking a vacation. Oh, yeah, right. he just sort of went on vacation your and mind, forgot where he was. Your mind goes to a pleasant place where hula. I think everybody got that except for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the elevator not going up, I don't know. Anyway, Len Ramsey, fifth frame, will be enjoying uh, about a 23-pin lead, but Kim, with the strike working, could cut that to 13 pins pronto. Pronto. Len Ramsey, sixth frame, really, really put a move on him with this ball. Again, maximum power, second arrow, tenth forward, one-two pocket, completely annihilated. Look at that reaction on the three pin coming off the wall kicking it out we look at the score both players with a strike working you know Len, Kim Len Ramsey mm. Len Ramsey boy he's running up some nice numbers for a guy who's never been on television before well I mean to tell you watch his second pin from the left hand side of your screen you see it right there going around the belly of the seven pin the ball a little too direct a little too firm, not a bad shot, but not one of his better ones. But we got some uh, qualifying going on next week. For next week's show. For next week. That's right. This is the last day of qualifying this year. We mentioned it earlier in the show when the ladies were bowling. I did want to mention again, in case you just turned in and tuned into the show. Um, we are at Green Hills Lanes today, and it is the last day of regular qualifying. So call Green Hills to make a reservation. Get out there. As you know, as Bo mentioned, we're at Green Hills next week. And then, of course, our King Finals coming up at Glenn Schmitz. Correct. They bow on Saturday, actually, and the show is taped the very next day. So we will not know until the last minute who is on that final show. That's right. And the reaction and the action today, lanes five and six, Glenmore bow in the heart of Shiviet, Kim Herman. Looking on as Lenny Ramsey steps up on lane six. He's got the hammer in his hand. He's in a very comfortable position as we speak, and he is throwing the ball great. You said it, David. The shot, we're going to watch it here. We're going to see more of Lenny than the shot, actually. But right there, the release, I wanted you to see that absolute power, maximum roll, head pin going to the wall, five pin taking out the nine. This man is everything I told you he was going to be, and he's just powering the pins down, Tommy. He's definitely letting it go and stepping up in lane oh, five. Geez. Got it again. I, that's what you call a no-doubter, the way he hits them. It is phenomenal. It is fantastic to see Lenny Bull so well. He looked back here and smiled at me a little bit, saying, you little good boy. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> But he has come to win today, and win he will if he keeps doing what he's doing. Well, Kim Herman, he's saying, I'm not going to give up on this match yet. No way. Heck no. As we speak, 44 pins, the advantage to Lenny Ramsey. 44 pins is a lot of pins, but let me tell you what. There's two frames left. Plenty of time to strike, plenty of time to get in trouble. This game is not over yet, but he needs this one. Got to have it. Well, you know, Bo, we're not going to see a 300 game in this one, but uh, somebody should happen to roll in the next couple of matches. They got a good-looking car coming their way. They sure do. From West Hills Ford, Tom Schiller brought, I think, what he's calling the Cadillac of Fords, <laughs> the top of the line. It is uh, a gorgeous country squire wagon. 
And we have the sticker price in front of us. It's exceptionally great. <laughs> they got a great value. It's almost $20,000 car. I was going to say, if you are going to say it, I was. I'd love to give away something worth almost twenty grand. God, have we, have we come up over the years, Bo, where this year, where WLW is doing a great job for us. The proprietors have pitched in. We've got a great sponsor in Huda Pole and, and Tommy. And the bowlers have really, really posted some scores this year. It's been a pleasure, and I'm sorry to see it end. We've only got three more shows? No, this is our third last one. <laughs> two, two more two, after Two to today. go. What are we going to do for 40 weeks? We can watch baseball for about 20 of those weeks. <laughs> Drink a few hooties uh, this summer. Go. No problem. While we're bowling in our summer leagues. No problem with that. Well, Len Ramsey picks up the spare. <laughs> Say, go ahead, Len, <laughs> smile. You got it going, fella. This is great. We're looking at uh, Lenny going into the uh, ninth frame, or going into the tenth frame. If he finishes out with a couple of strikes here, he is automatically our winner. Let's see, Lenny, Kim Herman at 72, 202. This game is history. Lenny is our winner, and he has earned it. Holy, tell, tell. Tell Mr. Horseman to put a new rack of pins in, because this man has broken a few in half. Watch it here. I don't even know what to say. Let's just watch. This is absolutely power personified, no deflection. In incredible. <laughs> you know, Bo, you talked about some of the... Uh, the coziness here at, at Glenmore Bowl, and the owners have done a splendid job here. They certainly have. Les Horseman is the owner of Glenmore, and his sons, Ron and Jeff, do a tremendous job. Watch Lenny pick up the uh, spare there for a brilliant game, his first time on television. 237, if harassing him at the beginning makes him bowl so well, he might take me to a lot of tournaments. <laughs> Well, Kim J. Herman making it a lot of fun for all of us. Yeah, Talked certainly. at the beginning of the show, in case you happen to join us late, about the herd that showed up to That's root right. Kim on. But Unfortunately, they haven't had a chance to be as as loud and noisy and rambunctious as they usually are because Kim is, uh, has not won the match. Right now. Now, you know, Dave's had a lot of problems the last couple of weeks, folks, trying to keep score today. Dave, you doing all right today? I've got a bigger score sheet today. That's, uh, I've got one of those big pencils that the, the second graders use. Yeah. Got a lot of paper here to do some calculations on, but... We can get you a coloring book. There's a lot of time left, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kim Irvin's going to finish it off with a strike, but our winner is going to move on to the next round. Be Len Ramsey on the beautiful king of TV bowling. Stay with us. It is the season for Ludwig Hudepohl Bach Beer. Every spring, the resources of America's great small brewery are devoted to Ludwig Hudepohl, a true Bach beer. Rich, smooth, dark. Made from deep roasted barley, matured without haste. It appears all too briefly, and then it is gone. Try it while you can. Ludwig Hudepohl Bach Beer. The kind of beers of Hi, Todd here for West Hills Ford, 5400 Glenway Avenue. Right now, West Hills Ford is offering great deals on brand new 87 Ford Escorts. For a limited time, you can get low 3.9% financing, plus up to $600 cash back direct from Ford. West Hills Ford will sell you a new 87 Escort for as low as $87 down. That's right, $87 down, and we have over 50 to choose from. Visit West Hills Ford, 5400 Glenway Avenue, and tell them Todd sent you. Every now and then, I compete in front of the whole world. Other times, I'm just out to have a good time with my family and friends. Come on, you're up. That's why I got into bowling. Yeah, bowling. It's fun. It's pretty good exercise. It's great. Best of all, you don't have to get a 10 to have a great time. All right. On the other hand, it doesn't hurt. 
Call your nearby BPA bowling center for open bowling times. Now here's your burger, and... <laughs> Sometimes breaks can give you a gentle hint that they need a little work. Oops. Take it to Midas. Over four million people have trusted their brakes to Midas. Good price, good guarantee. We won't break you. Whoops. Take it to Midas. Whoops. Huh? Take it to someone you trust. Oh, no, she's going to take off the robe. If you think you've seen it all, stay tuned to the Hollywood Square. So you pay attention. They're having fun and making... Whoopee. Join Dear Abby, Wolfman Jack, Nell Carter, Penny Youngman, Jason Bacon, and Andrea Evans. Ta-da! Because you ain't seen nothing yet. Mm -hmm. On the new Hollywood Square. Hollywood Square, weekdays at 5. Here's your invitation to really have some fun. I used to just open bowl. I never thought I was good enough for a league, but I joined. Now I'm the best bowler on the team. Short-term spring Keep leagues are now friends, forming. The bowling we never used to see Bill and Sally. Now we bowl together and we get to see them more often. Bill could use some lessons. Come on in, pick up a ball, knock on some pins for the thrill of it all. You'll like it. Let's take a look at some of the trophies that decorate this cozy little spot of Glenmore Bowl. Yeah, see that little blue in there? That was my high average in 67. At, uh, I think a 67 was my average in 67. Kerry Logan, strong player. We've talked about him a hundred times. High backswing, tall, lanky. Throws probably one of the bigger hookers of the uh, uh, lefties in this town getting ready to set up and go on the left lane. All right. Kerry <laughs> Logan. And uh, he looks familiar to you. Good reason for that, Bo. You're right. <laughs> we saw him last week at Hyde's Lanes, losing to Tim Sharp, 244-237. A close match, and it looks like he's ready again today. There's Les Horseman, our proprietor here at Glenmore Bowl, and his lovely wife, Jean. We thank them for being so gracious to us. That man helped me learn how to bowl right here when I was seven years old. I bowled with his older son, Barry, in league, and uh, we were fortunate enough to win a couple of titles and have a lot of fun. And Len Ramsey picks up right where he left off, a bone-crushing strike. When was that, back around 1937? We don't really have to name the year, you little... Uh, <laughs> these young kids nowadays, bone. I know. <laughs> uh, David mentioned it, Len uh, Ramsey. Uh, what am I going to say? I've been around the game a lot. I figured up yesterday, Bo, I've been participating in the BPA uh, King of Bowling for, for 20 years. Ooh, David. This is the 20th year. You want to see some power? Unbelievable. If he can do this 20 years from now, he's a heck of a man. Head pin, center your screen, go to the right-hand wall, right there. Now watch it come off. Helicopter Scout. Our first helicopter scout of this year. He was spinning. <laughs> Here comes the big hooker. David talked about it a little earlier. Harry Logan, mm, he didn't have the same kind of luck. No, not really, Tom, and we've alluded to it before. Lenny is overpowering these lanes today. He's he's throwing a lot of ball, a lot of revolutions. Not the big hook that Kerry Logan is typical of throwing. He's a softer player, a little bit more finesse. You see the five pin there. The ball deflected, did not quite finish the rotation or roll. It's about the easiest spare in the world. It's also easy to miss, David. No, it isn't. <laughs> Nobody misses a five pin. Bo, uh, you know, we've talked about already being at Green Hills next week, our final week, and the, the qualifying going on out there. That's correct. We have two of our bowlers for the, the show next week have been determined. Terry Sacconi shot an outstanding 799 score yesterday. Alan Downs, who lost in a row off this morning to Kim Herman, is sitting in the second position again with a 771. Alan Downs went to high school with him over at Anderson. Fine, fine bowler. A, a good point. 
<laughs> a great point to, to bring up. One of the people said, now watch him curl this one around the corner. He did it. Left lane, lane five. He's covering twice as many boards as Lenny Ramsey. That man, Kerry Logan, can really, really eat up the wood. You know, you just can't get a break around here some days, I'll you. Tell don't you. deserve one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a great shot. Let's watch pin action, and pin action is what we're going to see. Head pin is the guy you want to watch. It's going to go exit stage right, right there, into the wall, comes off the wall, absolutely annihilates the five. If it wouldn't have been going down anyway, it would have taken it out. Lenny Ramsey, the strongest player I've seen to date. He has got it going. Just power. Ten pins in the pit, every pin doing its job, and I'm telling you, this is, look at him, he's happy. He said, what? I don't know what I'm doing right. I really don't, but I'm going to do it again. Keep on doing it, Lenny. He's got it going. Take a look at the score, and uh, Len Ramsey couldn't do it any better at this point. Well, you can see it. He's, he carries a 20-pin advantage going into the fourth, Kerry Logan's fourth frame. Not getting to the five pin. Let's take a look at it here on the replay, and we can watch. Deflection is the name of the game. Carey's covering so many boards that the rotations are being used up. Now watch it here. The ball's going to jump to the left side of your screen. Right there. Hits. See it? Take that two pin straight back. Not enough left on the ball to carry through and get the five. You know, Bo, we talked a couple of weeks ago, and our average TV average at that time was around a 205. But That's the right. scores are going up. Well, because of the great talent that we've had on the show this past few weeks, our average is now up in the 212 range. <laughs> 212. Two. Uh, okay. Sorry, guys. 212. That beer that you bought us, David, did it to me. <laughs> he finally paid his bet off. <laughs> I knew it was going to prohibit you from talking properly. I perhaps wouldn't have purchased the beer. <laughs> we could have a two to pull. <laughs> That's right. Kerry Logan, left lane, lane five, needs to do a lot more of that to get back in this game and put any pressure on Lenny. We'll watch, right. the, re watch the replay right here. You're going to see it. The head pin, center your screen, and the five pin. Second one back is just going to do the job. All of them exit stage right, and we're going to exit right out of here into a commercial spot. We'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Cincinnati has always had a reputation for brewing great beers, and part of this continuing tradition is Hudi Gold. Brewed by Hudipole, America's great small brewery, Hudi Gold is a pure, natural, traditional beer made to the high standards that Cincinnati beer drinkers have demanded for decades. A special gold standard set by Cincinnati for Cincinnati. Try the best quality beer in its class, and remember, nothing is as good as gold. Hudi Gold. It's a fantastic tent event. Now at your all-star GMC truck dealers, Holman GMC truck and Greninger GMC truck. Come look under the tents at all the new 1987 GMC vans. See Safari passenger vans starting at 9882. Buy your custom van from your all-star GMC truck dealer, Greninger GMC or Holman GMC. See the latest vans. See the newest vans. Buy them now. It's the fantastic tent event. See your all-star GMC truck dealers, Holman GMC or Greninger GMC. Follow your taste. Little King's Cream Ale, where beer will never be above. Here's your invitation to really have some fun. Try bowling! When you're sitting home in the middle of the winter, bored, you'll be sorry you didn't join a bowling league. Short-term winter leagues are now forming. You'll like it! I wanted to join, so my bowling center found me a team. Even more important, I found new friends. Come on in, pick up a ball, knock down some pins for the thrill of it all. You'll like it! 
Lenny Ramsey enjoying a 30-pin lead as we look at the sheet. He is perfect, and I mean perfect, through four. Right lane, Lenny Ramsey, really giving us an exhibition on bowling today. How did you describe him, Dave? A very talented player. No, I'm looking for the word bulky. Right. His, his physical stature, he said after the first game, if I referred to him again that way, he would break me in half. And, and since two halves, what is speaking of two halves, there they are, bro. Oh, tremendous ladies. Sue and Joey Durkin, my partners at Lasanaville. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Besides intelligent guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They've got beauty and brains. Let us have a little fun. <laughs> oh, come on, Bo. We knew that, didn't we, Dave? Yeah, we knew that. That's sure. We were thinking that. That's it's right on the tip of my tongue. Len Ramsey leaving a uh, soft seven pin, right hand lane, but bringing the spare back, and he'll uh, be up on lane six, a lane he's been very comfortable on so far. All right, he is in command at this point. And if he keeps it going like he's been going, he'll move yeah. right on. Thank you very much. Is it a break? Yeah, it's a break. But let's take a look at it on the replay. Power makes a lot of breaks. 11th board. This ball hesitates and then rolls, takes the head pin back two straight. That's the three pin going to the wall, doing a whirly bird right in between the six and the ten, taking both pins out. Working overtime, Kerry Logan has got a problem if he doesn't keep striking now. You said it, David. You needed to get it. Well, Kerry's, uh, I mean, he's no pushover. He's been bowling match games around this city for years and years. He knows there's a lot of paper up on the board. Anybody can make a mistake. The deal is you have to be in position to take advantage of a mistake, and Kerry Logan will do that. There's Jerry Bettinghouse, the president of the Greater Cincinnati BPA, and Kathy Brocksterman, the new secretary of the BPA, and Donna Nenadel, who has worked at the tournaments for seven years with us. I want to thank Jerry. <laughs> Got us a cold duty just a moment ago. That was a great shot. The seven pin will be the last pin. The, the furthest one on the right-hand side of your screen, the ten pin, will be the last one to go down there. The head pin, that's the three pin going into the wall. Does a cross-body block going across. The five pin gets it from the back. Great shot, Kerry Logan, back in the match, putting himself in position. And putting a little pressure on this guy, but... Hey! That doesn't bother him a bit. What a response to pressure. We call it the can opener. It was a can opener. Absolutely rips the rack in half. The, the ball will deflect a little to your left. Watch it here. See it deflect right there, but it gets enough of the five to go over and clear anything out should it have been there. It was not Lenny Ramsey, again, the strongest bowler that I've seen on our show this year. And you know, it looked like he didn't even hit that well, and just the power of it. He is amazing. I am impressed, and I don't impress too easy. Lenny Ramsey's really given us an exhibition on bowling. You see it there. Uh, the deficit is uh, 19 pins. Both players with a strike working, a couple of strikes, as a matter of fact. 19 pins is not in insurmountable, but Kerry Logan must continue to strike. Week seven. You know, Bo uh, and David as well, it, our Sunday mornings here are... I've uh, been missing a very fine gentleman, Sam Coleman. That's right. I did have the opportunity to see Sam this week. He stopped over at Lasanaville Lanes one day when I, I was there working, and he is looking well. He's starting to recover, and we hope he'll be able to come back and visit us on Sunday morning, at least the last two weeks. Oh, indeed we do. A fine, fine man. Kerry Logan picks up the spare, but David told you, spares just won't do it the way Lynn Ramsey's going. Spares can keep you in contention. Strikes will put you in position. Opens will send you home. Similar to Socrates of years ago. Pretty profound stuff. I'm telling you, we're seeing a little all the shots. We're seeing a crushing bone, bone shaking strikes. We're going to see a, a questionable strike here, but watch the pin action. Head pin. 
That's the three pin bumping into the five. That's the three pin still standing in the center of your screen. That's the three pin falling down. Pin was on a mission. <laughs> it was still looking for something to knock down, but he's out of here. Lenny Ramsey can be out of here if he strikes one more time in the 10th frame. It's all over. Boy, he is just mowing them down. You know, they've got a lot of, you know, Bo talked a little bit about the three-person tournament they're having here at Glenmore, and, but really they have all kinds of tournaments going on out here. They sure do, Tom. It's really unique. I think I love this concept. The fourth Saturday and Sunday every month, they run a different tournament. They change the format each month, so you have a variety of ways to compete, and this month it's going to be a doubles tournament. Ooh, ooh, this match is over. Ooh, <laughs> we used to do that. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun in I since John Gant went on the Pro Bowlers Tour, Bo. Yes. I do not believe we have had a bowler crush and rip as many strikes as Lenny Ramsey. I can't remember one of them. You know they were teammates up until John went on the Pro Tour. Oh, were they? Yes, I did they not were. know that. Yes. Interesting point. I can't stump Bo. Lenny Ramsey with with one more strike. Well, are we giving a, something away for a high game? 279 win anything? This uh, I wish it would have won the car we had today. West Hills Ford brought us a fantastic car, the 87 LTD Country Squire loaded. Full-size passenger car. Lenny could have used the full-size passenger car, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Uh, you know, bulky was one thing. But, uh, Le Lenny Ramsey won soft seven away from the perfect 300 game. Unbelievable. It was pleasurable to watch. Kerry Logan just wants to finish and get, get out of the way here. Uh, you know, Kerry Logan, I mean, what can you do when you run into a guy that's got it going like Lynn Ramsey does? Unbelievable. Well, you just, you do the best you can. You hope he trips on his cuff or something. An ankle. Same thing. And, uh, not to be today. Lenny Ramsey's as hot as anybody I've ever seen on the lanes. Kerry Logan's a good player, but not meant to be today. Boy, he had an awfully close match last week we talked about. Lost that's to our king, did he not? That's correct. 244-237. That's two weeks in a row, Kerry. Well, this week I think he sort of got run over. <laughs> 279 is an outstanding game to lose to, though. Run over in a full size. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say he was a truck, all right? All right. Well, we'll move on, and it'll be Len Ramsey to try to dethrone Tim Sharp. Stay with us. This fine select beer is Christian Moorline. It is made with a quite remarkable skill, a result of years of experience, exceptional ingredients, and above all, the care, patience, and pride only a small brewery can provide. These traditional virtues mean you may pay a little more, but the price is small for the unique experience of Christian Moorline. Christian Moorline, quite simply, a better beer. Chuck Woolery here. Boy, this is going to be fun, huh? For four years now, I've had lots of fun hosting Love Connection. She kissed so hard, she bit my lip. I like to help singles take a chance on romance. It was about a ten-minute kiss. They say time flies when you're having a five. No matter what happens, it's always unpredictable. I turn around, and there is the largest dog I have ever seen in my entire life. On Love Connection. Love Connection, weeknights at 7.30. When you're sitting home in the middle of the winter, bored, you'll be sorry you didn't join a bowling league. Bowling later is when things really get rolling. Get the game rolling for a bowling game today. The best kind of bowl is later. I don't have to rush after work, and I always have fun. See what I mean? It's a great feeling, give it a try. 
Short-term winter leagues are now forming. You're my Welcome. Welcome back to Glenmore Bowl and our 10th week of qualifying and our sponsors. We have Al Catoro and Tony Plank from the Hittleple Shanley Brewery and Ken Rippinger. Also Tom, uh, Tom Scheller and Jack McDonald from West Hills Ford. Tim Sharp, we've talked about him several times. Very unorthodox arm swing. He's playing a little further inside today than uh, what you'd normally expect, but he turns the ball up well, executes well. Lenny Ramsey, the key to this match will be, will he carry for the first several frames? If he does, Tim Sharp will have all that he can handle, and it doesn't look like the break slowed him down at all, Tommy. You mentioned it. He, huh, 279 last game. We were talking to Kerry Logan in between games, and he had said, hey, what can you do? The guy's got it going like that. Tim Sharp, our reigning king. Became king last week at Hot Plains. Well, if Tim, Sh if uh, Kerry Logan could have used his qualifying scores against Lenny, he would have had a chance because to qualify for the show, Kerry Logan shot a phenomenal 804. Uh, I don't know what games he had to get to the 804, but they, <laughs> you don't get to 804 without having a lot of big 200s. I understand it was without a 300 though. So that means that he had some very high 200 games. It's consistently so. Tim Sharp, left lane with a strike in the first working, ringing 10 pin. You hate to say, well, you hate to say that one shot could make the difference, but early in the match to lose a crushing hit right to second pin from the right hand side of your screen. Watch it. It's the six pin, and it's not going to do its job. Up, around the belly, a whirly bird, and back. Bringing 10, cross lane, Tim Sharp should bring the spare back. David, th this is, you know, Tim is the first right-hander to have bowled in the men's division on the show today. Does that have any bearing on his effectiveness? You, you bet, Bo. Um, the shot that Regina started to um, work into the lane by throwing a lot of balls, Tim Sharp is going to have to pick up on that, and he and he was doing that in shadow balls in between the matches. But the amount of play on the right hand side, a lot less, could be a factor. It's the first miss in a while. We've talked we've talked about it. The strong balls. Let's talk about a weak one. Lenny Ramsey is going to not catch this ball. Now watch it after it hits a head pin, center your screen, jump to the left. You see it right there? It takes a two pin straight back. The four pin, the angle is all wrong on the four pin. It goes into the channel and just kind of slithers on by. It's a big spare for Lenny. Got it? The guy marked every frame last game was only... What, one frame away from one, a 300? One seven pin away from a 300 game. We're in the third frame of our last game of today, championship match. The player who strikes first and continues to strike will win. The guy that lets up gets a bad break. He's not letting up at all. <laughs> David's over here putting his head down on the table can't believe what he's seeing on a Lenny Ramsey today this this guy is a truck I'm telling you I've known Lenny for a long time I, I said at the onset of the show he's a good bowler I can't believe he hasn't done more with his game boy has he come to play today. Bo he called him bulky he called him bulky yeah I know <laughs> well let's let's see if my prediction is so the deflecting ball, Tim Sharp in around a 12th board. Now watch this ball, hit the head pin, jump to the right, takes the six pin into the channel and it just kind of dies right there. Not enough action on the ball, not enough drive. Tim is the first guy to come off the strikes. We'll have to see seven frames from now if what I said is true. Did you know that Tim rolled a 299 game yesterday in qualifying at Green Hills? left a stone eight. I was there. I watched it. I was going to 
put a little wager on it, but nobody in the crowd would take me up on it. And Tim threw. They've listened to the broadcast. You haven't paid up on the on the beers until eight weeks later. <laughs> I wouldn't bet you either. David's uh, a little slow. It's a minor minor point, Tommy. But he absolutely buried the ball in the pocket for a smash eight for two ninety nine. Tough way to do it. Not the not the classic strike that we're used to seeing, but the pin that's going to do the job here is the four pin. Second one from the left hand side of your screen. Let's watch it. There goes the head pin. The head pin comes off, touches the four pin. The four pin just kind of lazily rolls into the seven. You know, Bo, we see the, the, the shirts of the bowlers every week. And uh, who's providing those for the shirt? Well, you know, the guys at Howe Manufacturing, Jim Chastang, son Scott, and Dennis, do a fantastic job. We call them on Monday morning. They actually take care of the shirts and have them ready for us by the next Sunday. And I'll tell you, that is efficiency for their part. Speaking of efficiency. Mr. Efficiency here, just, just continually plugging the one-two pocket. Tommy, he's as strong as they come. Wow. Oh. Wow. All I can say is wow. We are seeing a demonstration on this replay. He actually arcs it out further than what he has been, but what's it do? It comes down. <laughs> Absolute destruction. Annihilation. Tim Sharp has got all he can handle, and maybe then some. But Tim Sharp, you know he's not going to let up. Mm, that's a second time. Well, let's we'll take a look at it one more time here on the replay. We we look at bone crushing strikes. Let's look at the deflection. He's in deeper than what the shot is telling him to play. I believe the ball's going to deflect. Takes a three pin straight back. The six pin. That's the one flopping around in the channel there like a dead fish. Did not do its job and climb out and get the ten. Tim Sharp has to play more of an arc. If you're continually leaving those types of tens, you're going to have to readjust your strike. Critical, critical error. Tim Sharp. There you see it. 87 in the fifth frame with the open. Len Ramsey. Strike. Week seven. And the next three are about a nine point on the Richter scale, I believe. That ties in with your 12 degree. Uh, 14, 14, <laughs> 14 oh, degrees, yeah. Degrees. <laughs> yeah. That, that's worth a look. That's worth a look. Let's take a look at it on the replay if we can. Tim Sharp needs strikes to get going. He can tolerate nothing but strikes. There's the pin going to the wall, the head pin, I believe. Just kind of moseying over there and giving it just a friendly little tap. Mm. Yeah. You know, here locally uh, in Cincinnati, March has been a very, very uh, special month. For families sure. especially. This is Family Twosome Month in the EPA centers. And all the different bowling centers are conducting Family Twosome qualifying to go on to a state and the EFCO national finals in Washington, D.C. Lenny Ramsey, watch this head pin. Oh my, the head pin comes right there. It's coming off the wall. The five pin's going down anyway, but the head pin decided it wanted it to fall the other way. The six pin in the channel leans on the seven. It's Lenny Ramsey Day declared here in Shiviet. Oh, oh no! When it's your day, it's your day. When it's time, it's time. The head pin again is going to earn a double time check. Center your screen, going to the right hand wall. Now watch it. It takes the 10 out. It kicks into the 5, and it's going to travel all the way across, just in case something was left. Tim Sharp, he's thinking, again, a week, week 10 for Tim. Uh, he, he would have to adjust his strike line, but I'd say it wouldn't make any difference. Lenny Ramsey would not surprise me at all if he struck out for 280. The car almost <laughs> got Again. given away. I mean, this is unbelievable. Lenny's doing a fantastic job. David mentioned last game, a seven pin away from the 300. And the way he's got it going right now, can't get the 300, but David said it, a 280. That wouldn't be bad. Back-to-back -back 279, 280. 
you know, Tom Scheller uh, did not have to come real far with the car this morning. He brings it every Sunday morning. And, of course, West Hills Ford is located right here in Western Hills on Glenway Avenue. Tim Sharp, left lane, lane five. Basically, just bowl bowling for the academics of it at this point. Mathematically, the match is all but over. Uh, Lenny would have to uh, fall down a couple of times to let this one trickle by. But Tim Sharp's got a lot of pride. You can see it there. He said, well, it's just a pleasure to be here. He's going to pick up uh, a couple of C notes here for his efforts today. 300 of them is a 300, 300 uh, bucks. Yes. Twenty-five hours, three twenty-five. Twenty-five for the crew back here. Is that where they? <laughs> no. I'm getting tired of talking about it. I, I've seen enough today. <laughs> Boy, his, his unbelievable. His power has just been phenomenal. He's last well all day long, really. He is really, really giving us an absolute show and he could show us something here if he continues to strike <laughs> if he would have continued to strike we could have had our first ever 800 on the on show, the show. Well, oh gosh that put an end to that five count doesn't help his uh, his score at all and leaving a difficult spare the three five six nine ten you're looking at it the way to make this is to put the ball in between the three and the five. Not like that. Let's total all these. He's got 516 for two. 516 for two, and if yeah. he would have finished out, uh, well, it would have been four short. But nonetheless, he has been tremendous. Tim Sharp, our king, but on this day, he dethroned. He's been leaving the soft 10, Tommy. That time he left a ringing 10, but on the same lane. Lane 6 has been Tim Sharp's undoing. No chance to get back in the match if he can't carry strikes. I still think that him having not bowled uh, any games prior to coming into the qualifier last week, he bowled uh, all the matches on the show. And of course, he sat back and he watched everybody bowl this week, and no one had bowled on the right-hand side except for in the ladies' match. We've Maybe. seen that a few times this year. Yes, Quite a few times yes. where the person who had won the roll-off has gone on at least to the finals, if not becoming our king. They call that the catbird seat, <laughs> you know, as sitting in the king position. But sometimes it has a disadvantage to sit there. Tim Sharp could finish out in the 10th frame. Three strikes would give him 185, as you see it. Lenny already has 211 in the ninth frame. Len Ramsey will strictly be bowling for score. Tim Sharp is saying, I'm out of here. Warm the car up. <laughs> I'm on my way. And it ain't the 300 car. No, no, wrong car. But, you know, in all fairness to Tim Sharp, this is, this is not, you know, it has not been his game. But when I mean, you're talking about a guy with an average of 210, and in Bo, he's also rung up some pretty good numbers. Well, you know, he has been our king so many times. He's had 208, uh, 100 series, two 800 series. God, I said that wrong. Five 300 games, and uh, he has been on King 11 times, I know at least. Started back in 1979, the first time he was on television. This guy, on the other hand, we told you earlier, he has not been on TV until today. What, <laughs> what a way to end the, end the match. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny's uh, so excited about that shot. Let's see if we can take a look at why because it was a terrible ball, that's why. This ball is going to hit the head pin and go dead left. There you see it, missing the five. Head pin goes to the wall, does a whirly bird between the five and the ten. Let's see if he can bring it back. Now, not to be today, but still, what a series for Lenny Ramsey. Got a big round of applause from the folks here at Glenmore Bowl. The new king, Len Ramsey, will be back in a moment. Back in Oberammer Gurgel, we say there's one thing wrong with these low-calorie beers, and they ain't got no taste. They got cowboyers and footballers, but they all taste like... Mm. So then I tried Hoodie Delight, and you know what? I saw Delight. Do yourself a flavor, have a Hoodie, have a Hoodie Delight. <clears throat> now that tastes like a real beer. 
You could say I'm delighted. Good delight. The beer drinker's light. It's a spring clearance sell-a-thon at Howard Adams Toyota. Howard Adams has drastically reduced every new Toyota in stock. Buy now and save up to $2,500 off Cressidas and Supras. Save up to $1,500 off Camrys, Corollas, Celicas, MR2s, FX16s, and 4Runners. Save up to $1,000 off Toyota trucks, cargo vans, and panel vans. Get immediate delivery, get high trade-ins, get on-the-spot financing, get the lowest price on a new Toyota now during the spring clearance sell-a-thon at Howard Adams Toyota on 5th Street in Covington, Kentucky. Here's your invitation to really have some fun. I used to just open bowl. I never thought I was good enough for a league, but I joined. Now I'm the best bowler on the team. Short-term spring leagues are now forming. We never used to see Bill and Sally. Now we bowl together and we get to see them more often. Bill could use some lessons. Come on in, pick up a ball, knock on some pins for the thrill of it all. You'll like it. Folks, between now and Monday night, we're going to kind of play dumb and forget what we paid for the carpet. You guessed it, it's the fourth annual closeout sale at Buddy's Carpet Barn in Cincinnati, Franklin, and Dayton. Our stores are packed with gorgeous carpet from Horizon Carpet Mills, and you pay nothing till October 1987 without interest payments or carrying charges. Folks, the prices are crazy, but you must pick from something in stock, and you must get the Buddy's Carpet Barn between now and Monday at 9 o'clock. You light up my <laughs> life. You give me all to carry on. Nikki, Nikki. So make me feel right at home by convincing me that you're the most demanding woman back there. I would give you a massage and um, make you forget the beauty salon. Yeah, but I, I want to be punished. The all-new dating game, weekdays at 11.30. Here's your invitation to really have some fun. Try bowling! When you're sitting home in the middle of the winter, bored, you'll be sorry you didn't join a bowling league. Short-term winter leagues are now forming. You'll like it! I wanted to join, so my bowling center found me a team. Even more important, I found new friends. Come on in, pick up a ball, knock on some pins for the thrill of it all. You'll like it! Welcome back to Glenmore Bowl, and we got the crew out here, everybody except for our new king and uh, Bo Udipo. You've got some uh, a little cash to give away to these gentlemen. We certainly do. First in our third position or fourth position, actually, Kim Herman, who has won $150 for his efforts today. <laughs> Congratulations, Kim. You know we talked about uh, the Hermans hurt. How did this ever come about, Kim? I don't know. We just got the family together and a lot of friends and everybody come out and. We just have some fun, have a couple of hooties, and make a day out of it. You know? that, that sounds like a heck of an idea. Congratulations, Kim. Uh, and, and Bo, we've still got some more checks. Carrie Logan. That's right. Carrie, for your efforts today, you get $225. Congratulations. Hey, you know, we were talking at the beginning of the show, Carrie, and you had an 804 series without a 300 game. Well, you must have been running up some big 200s. Uh, yeah, my low game in that set was uh, 247. Uh, I got close to 300 the first game, shot 289, left a 10 pin on the 11th ball. I, th I was throwing the ball well. I thought I was throwing the ball well today, but I got kind of steamrolled. Lenny was really throwing the ball good. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that a little earlier. We'll let Dave Newrath get to that in a minute. I'm not going to touch it. And, uh, and Bo, finally, our former king, Tim Sharp. That's right. Last week we had the honor of giving you $750. Today, $375 for your efforts. Great Bo and Tim. Thank you. Congratulations, Tim. And, you know, we may not have heard the last of Tim Sharp because yesterday, the 299, how close are you to uh, being back with us next week? Uh, I was about 30 pins off yesterday. I needed a few more strikes. Yeah, who knows? May get him. All righty. Uh, you know, Bo, you've got uh, one lady here you'd like to uh, uh, introduce to the folks at home. That's correct. We have a new lady on the scene. Uh, Kathy Broxterman is now the secretary for the Boeing Proprietors Association. She's taking my place since I'm now a proprietor at Lasanaville Lanes. I don't know if I'd want that job, big shoes to fill, I'm not real sure. Well, you know, Dave Newrath talked about it earlier, and uh, let's go over to David with our new king. Dave? Thanks, Tommy. We're sitting here with uh, Lenny Ramsey. Lenny, I'm going to make a few presentations, and we're going to talk a little bit. A nice plaque to decorate your wall with. I'm sure you'll use a few of those. A little cash. Lenny's buying at work tomorrow, right? Thank you. Uh, 
The boys at GE have a lot to be proud about, Lenny, and, and we're very proud about it. Uh, we'd like to take a look at a few of your crashing strikes today. We'll take a look at this one. And from a bowler's perspective, you're sitting back here now with the headphones on. You tell me what you were feeling. Well, I was just trying to stay relaxed and throw a good shot. I knew I had a good you know, target line going. I had the area I needed. I felt comfortable. Did you feel you were really getting through the ball as strong as it looks right here? I mean, the pin action is phenomenal. No, I really felt that I wasn't hitting it that well because I was a little bit nervous. And I think that's what made me bowl so well, taking my time. The Whirly Bird Scout. You, you gave us our first one of this year. Just some fantastic bowling all the way around. A good series. Lenny, congratulations. Thank Something you. to really be proud of. Thank you. Tommy, back to you. Thank you very much, David. Yeah, you know, I want to mention to you folks, next week is our last week in terms of, uh, well, qualifying ending today out of Green Hills and then, of course, the, uh, the King Finals. So uh, we'll be out of Green Hills next week. Hope you'll be with us, too, on the beautiful King of TV Bowling. So long, everybody. <laughs> King of Bowling. Brought to you by the Beautiful Brewing Company, America's great small brewery.